we are back now with relationship expert, Dr. Tiff. Earlier, we talked about some of the common relationship issues many of us may be experiencing during this difficult time, Dr. Tiff, but it's also important to discuss a more serious situation that some may be in. Officials say there has been an increase in domestic violence reports since the quarantine. Talk to us about how this time can be especially concerning for those in an abusive situation, and, and how would we know that they're in trouble? I'm glad you brought this up, Sheba, because this is um, this is something that I don't think many of us uh, really anticipated. Um, what we recognized early on um, during this pandemic was that uh, two populations of folks that were really vulnerable staying at home are children. We've seen an uptick in uh, child abuse cases, but we've also seen an uptick in domestic violence uh, incidents as well. These things are happening right now because, again, we are in close proximity to one another and we can't uh, we can't escape the problems that are in our homes. But let's be clear, again, these things were probably happening prior to the pandemic, and so they're going to be exacerbated during this time, and we have to keep that in mind. I think that one thing that we can do um, is to main, maintain contact with our loved ones and people that do care about us, making sure that we have plans in place um, and places to go if, if it, it becomes a, a dire situation and we need to get out. Um, Georgia, um, thankfully, does have a wonderful domestic violence hotline. That is 1-800-33-HAVEN, 1-800-33-428-36. If you call that number, you are automatically rerouted to the caller's nearest domestic violence shelter. So you're going to be co connected with a shelter that is extremely close to you. That is a resource that I would um, advocate that anyone that is suffering from domestic violence, um, that they keep that resource on hand so that they can call at any given notice and, and be offered the support that they need in order to keep themselves safe. Yeah, it's a really serious issue, Dr. Tiff, mm -hmm. especially when a lot more folks are drinking as they're staying home. Absolutely, absolutely. And I, uh, the other tip that I um, that I give family members, um, if you know that this is something that may be potentially going on in a loved one's household, and in addition to keeping those lines of communication open, making sure you have some sort of code word. And so that's a word that that person knows to use if things are over, getting over the edge or if they are in trouble. So they can yeah. continue to have their regular phone conversation, but when you hear that code word, you know, okay, I either need to go over and do a welfare check or maybe even send law enforcement over to do a welfare check for that person. Okay, all right, that's some solid advice, Dr. Tiff. All right, if one partner feels like they need space or alone time, is it okay to ask for that? If so, how do we do it without hurting the other person's feelings? I hear this is really important as yeah. you know, more and more people are home, especially if both partners are working at home about establishing the, these boundaries. And Absolutely. Being okay it's, about it's it. so critical and so important. It's important in everyday life. We all have this, those moments of time where we just need a break, a mental break. We need to get away. We need to go outside. We need to get some fresh air. It doesn't stop because of the pandemic. I think what where we tend to make the mistake is that we wait until we need the break to ask for the break. Mm. Right now, we really do have to be proactive about a lot of things in our lives, and we have to anticipate, you know what? I think in the afternoons is when I hit the wall and I start to become irritable. Yeah. Let me ask my husband or let him know that at three o'clock, mommy's going to need to take a time out for yeah. 30 minutes and then I'll be back in the game. Can you watch the kids at three? Mm. Or you know what? I want to go for a run in the morning. Perhaps I'm saying this the night before. Mm. Yeah, I think I need to go for a run in the morning. Do you have the kids? Is it okay? Yeah. I think the more that we can communicate ahead of time, we don't have the hurt feelings in the midst of it. I think what's mm -hmm. tending to happen is we ask for it or we just take our time out <laughs> when we need it. And the yeah. other person feels like they're shouldering the burden of the entire responsibility. And it really, we really, really have to understand that both partners need their time. All right, Dr. Tiffany Davis Henry, psychotherapist. Thank you so much. The big takeaway I've gotten from this is just communicate, communicate, communicate. It's hard, but we got to do it. I and know. again, Shiva, we have nothing but time. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. All right. Thank you again. Appreciate your Thank time, you. Dr. Tiff.